Hey, now that you're here, let me tell you a story about my friend Fatima who struggles with concentration during Salah. One day she was performing her prayers and suddenly remembered if she'd left the milk boiling on the stove or did she turn it off, which meant additional cleaning on her end. She was so lost in thought that she was now confused if she completed four rakahs or if she was still on her third rakah. Mm, poor Fatima. She needed some serious help to improve her concentration in Salah. If you are like Fatima and struggle with concentration during Salah, don't worry, you are not alone. Many of us face this challenge. But the good news is that there are ways to improve our focus and make our prayers more meaningful and rewarding. Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to the last podcast for the Ramadan series. Before we begin, let's take a moment to remember all of the people who are sick around us. May Allah grant them a cure. Ameen. Coming back to our topic for today, there could be several reasons why we may lack concentration in Salah. Some of the most common reasons include being preoccupied and attached to worldly matters, not having a clear understanding of the meaning of the verses that are recited, not establishing a daily habit of performing salah, and reading just for the sake of it. It's important to identify the root cause of our lack of concentration and take steps to address it in order to improve our prayer experience and connect better with God. Here are some tips that have personally helped me. Firstly, Try to get rid of any distractions. Turn off your phone, TV or any other sources of distractions. Find a quiet place where you can pray without any interruptions. If you're at home, then tell your family members to avoid disturbing you during your prayer time. Try to find a spot away from distractions. Choose a place where you can minimize disturbances. And uh, try to, you know, minimize any noises or disturbances that can interrupt your concentration. This will help you focus a lot better during your Salah. Secondly, prepare yourself mentally and physically for Salah. Take deep breaths, clear your mind and focus on the purpose of Salah. Make sure you're well rested and hydrated. Lack of sleep and dehydration can also affect your concentration and make it difficult for you to focus in your salah. So get enough sleep and drink plenty of water to stay alert and focused. Thirdly, recite the Quran in a slow and deliberate manner. Take your time to understand what you're reciting and reflect on its meaning. Ponder over what Allah has to say. Additionally, memorizing the surahs can also help you to focus on the words you are reciting and avoid any kind of distractions. This will help you stay engaged and focused during your prayers. Coming to the next point, try to develop a routine for your salah. Set aside a fixed time for your prayers and make it a habit. Make it a habit to rush to the call of prayer. This will help you build a connection with Allah and make your prayers more meaningful and rewarding, inshallah. Point number five, finish off things before you start to pray or if you've not yet started, do it after you've finished your prayer. For instance, if you're in the process of cooking and it's time to pray, complete it and rush for salah. This can avoid your mind, you know, wandering off to the kitchen and increasing that anxiety of the dish is going to get burned while you're still in salah. Or if you've not yet started, then finish your prayer and then begin cooking. Lastly, seek forgiveness from Allah for past mistakes and shortcomings from your end. Remind yourself of the benefits of Salah such as connecting with Allah, seeking forgiveness and gaining blessings. So all of this can help you clear your mind and focus on the present moment to build your connection with God. Now I know you're thinking, but wait, I am always distracted during Salah because my mind wanders off to the most random things. Trust me, we've all been there. Just the other day, I caught myself thinking about what I was going to prepare for iftar during my prayer. Well, who does that? But the truth is, it happens to the best of us. 
So if you find yourself getting distracted during Salah, just take a deep breath and bring your focus back to your prayer. And if all else fails, try this trick. Imagine yourself surrounded by a group of zombies who are waiting to attack you. I bet you'll stay focused during your prayer then. While on a serious note, imagine yourself in a meeting with Allah. It's just the both of you. Run to your prayer when the time is scheduled and make sure you attend the meeting with your Lord in the best of your outfit, with the best of fragrance and imagine him being right in front of you, subhanAllah. Visualize yourself standing in front of him and performing the salah. This can help you stay focused and avoid any distractions. This has personally helped me improve my focus and attention. Hope it helps you too. Improving your concentration during Salah is not an overnight process. But with consistent effort and practice, you can make significant progress. Remember, Salah is a gift from Allah that helps us connect with Him and find peace and tranquility in our lives. So let's make the most of this beautiful gift and strive to improve our concentration during Salah. Well, that's all for today's podcast on how to improve your concentration during your prayer. Thank you for listening. If you've come this far, then make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Share it with your friends and family to spread the word. I'll be back with more informative podcasts post-Ramadan, inshallah. Until then, you'll know what's coming. Spread love because there's enough here in the world.